Hello guys, welcome to another video in which we would be discussing Siri calling random names found in map instead of contacts on iPhone. How to fix it? Are you having trouble that Siri is calling random names found in maps instead of your contacts on an iPhone after the latest iOS 18 update? Don't worry, in this video, we'll help you find a solution for it. Just follow these easy steps. First, check Siri settings. Go to settings, then Siri. And under my info, make sure you have selected your contact. This helps Siri prioritize your contacts over external sources. Then use specific commands. When asking Siri to call someone, include the type of number. For example, call John Mobile or else call John Work. This often directs Siri to the correct contacts. Then try disabling location services. Some users found that disabling location services for Siri can help. To do that, go to settings, then privacy and security, and then location services. Make sure you disable it. After that, reset network settings. Resetting network setting can resolve various connectivity issues. To do that, go to settings, then general. Now scroll down till you find transfer or reset iPhone. Click on reset and then reset network settings. After that, re-enable iCloud contacts. If you use iCloud for contacts, try disabling and re-enabling them. To do that, go to Safari and search for iCloud.com. After that, sign in using your account. Then toggle off the contact section, then toggle it back on after a few moments. Update iOS. Ensure your device is running the latest version of iOS, as updates often fix bugs that affect Siri's functionality. Check for updates under Settings, General, and then Software Update. If an update is available, install it. Lastly, restart your device. Most of the time, a simple restart can sometimes resolve temporary glitches affecting Siri's performance. To restart your device, press the volume up button and the volume down button. Now, the side button until you see the Apple logo appear. Even after doing all this, if you are still unable to find a solution, it's better that you contact Apple support for further assistance. Thank you for watching.